The Nachivubo Bugolobi Wastewater Treatment Plant will handle over 45 million liters of wastewater daily, hence tackling challenges of water shortage in the country. The Managing Director, National Water and Sewage Corporation, Engineer Silva Mgisha, says the plant has the latest water treatment with the latest inbreed technology. There is a lot of scope for many people to be connected to the system for Kampara and be able to treat it. The only work that now remains for National Water is to continue to reach as many people as possible so that we can collect as much sewage as possible to the, to the treatment works. We have just a slight issue on phosphorus but that's not an issue compared to the effect it is having on the environment. Engineer Silva Mgisha asserted that the plant will also generate electricity and the solid wastes removed from the wastewater are expected to be dried and sold as fertilizer. Yeah, there is a lot of byproducts here. Apart from providing them with services to collect sewage from their home, we are also, as a byproduct, we are producing manure here, which the public can, can collect. We are also producing manure at uh, Rubiji, remember. We are, we are going to be producing biogas, but by and large for our own internal, internal use. So the manure is the most important uh, product here. And uh, we are also happy to report to the public that the sewage we discharge to the receiving water bodies is of much better quality than what it used to be. Because now this plant complies on almost all parameters, uh, the total suspended solids, the by the, 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 the by oxygen demand, biological oxygen demand, we are complying. We have just a slight issue on phosphorus. The project involves the construction of an ultra modern sewage treatment plant in Bogorovi, a sewage pre treatment plant in Chinawataka, a sewage pumping station on Chibira Road, plus a sewer network, Sudat Kaye, UBC.